Hey guys, uh, video about Golang Docker continuous integration. Um, this is this is just like one of my distractions and my side projects that, that I think will be business related one day. So, um, hmm. well, let me just show you where I'm at right now. So I have a, a silly um, application here, just a counter. And this is the source code. Um, and what happens, what happens is that I've written this thing that took me like an hour to write because um, OS.exit was not working. There's a, there's a thing called slash stop, which kills the, which kills the service. And then the, um, the system D um, service file restarts the service. Um, so the idea is that I have a webhook. When I push to that webhook, it restarts the service. So let me just let me let me just demonstrate. Let me just demonstrate to you. So um, I'm going to make a stupid change. Hello, YouTube. Silly, uh, trivial change again. So I push that to GitHub. GitHub then, um, oops, triggers count to terminate. Then the service file kicks it off, which actually um, clones my GitHub, builds Golang, my Golang binary, and then deploys it. But in the meantime, I got this uh, bad gateway message, which sucks, or just it's unresponsive. Um, that's a problem. But as you can see, <laughs> what I'm trying to achieve here with the continuous service, it does work, but there's like a, a 30 second sort of downtime, which I really don't know how to handle. Uh, I'm using Caddy, which, which can, um, which can have a, like a load balancer, but um, that just sounds a little bit complicated, really. Hmm. Ideally, the Golang push, build, deploy was a few seconds, so um, it wouldn't be so disruptive. Um, if you have any other tips to make my Golang builds faster, um, please let me know, guys. Thanks for watching. Please give me a thumbs up.